Hello and welcome to a how-to guide on how to in import Assetto maps into BeamNG Drive. Now we're going to go through a few steps here. It's going to be different videos per step, so it's easier to follow. First up, we are going to be starting off with getting the map ready for Blender. So here we have Drift Playground 2021, which I want to redo for the BeamNG Drive community because it broke when I imported it last time. So we're going to copy the KN5. It's going to be the biggest file that we can find for the KN5. Uh, we're going to paste this in a converter folder, which we have on our desktop here. We're going to paste it into here, and we're going to put the KN5 converter.exe, which will be linked in the description down below in the same folder as the converter. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the exe and it is now exporting all the files what we need you'll get a texture file which will bring you loads of textures some you may like not like but we will get through that in another step so we're going to want the obj you can work off the fbx but you have to scale it up and convert it different ways so we're going to open up blender here and we're going to just delete everything just for a start. We're going to go file. We're going to go import. We're going to import a wavefront.obj. Okay. We're going to go to our desktop. We're going to go to our converter folder. Okay. Before we click on anything, though, we are going to go to geometry. And we're going to go split by group. Tick this little box here. And we can just double click or we can just import obj here. Wait for this to import and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the Drift Playground 2021, as we can see. What I normally do is I normally bring this little arrow here and we go to view and we can just change the end distance so we can see a little bit further in the region. Just chuck that away. Now, what I like to do is put on textures so we can see what textures are working and uh, go from there. It only takes a couple of seconds to load in, but... Okay, so it looks like the grass texture is not working, which we can fix nice and easy when we're in game. We're going to end this bit as just important into uh, Blender, and there'll be a part two on getting stuff ready for Bean. So, see you next time.